Hello there, welcome back to my channel Hero B Gaming. And in this episode of Ifecos, I'm gonna review the Tats 9 Battle Cruiser, and this is the Naga Mark II. Yes, and this is video was made for preparing the Tats 9 for the upcoming maybe two to three weeks and. If you don't want to reskill to large, I mean to better skill, uh, better ships, and still want to keep better crucial skill and large weapon, then you will want to have a Naga 2 or maybe Oracle 2 and Tornado 2. And this time I'm gonna review the Naga 2. And later I'm gonna review to the Oracle 2 and Tornado 2. Okay, now let's do the proper introduction for this Naga 2. Caldari Naga 2. Okay, uh, the differences from Naga 1 and Naga Mark 2 was the weapon and the low slots. So, for the Naga 2, she can equip one medium drone, seven large weapons. 3 middle slots, 6 low slots, 3 combat rigs, and 3 navigation rigs. Nah, this is better cruiser. And if you have don't know before why this Naga can use the large weapon very effectively, because her roll bonus, her roll bonus was minus 95% large railgun bulk with need and minus 50% large railgun capacitor need and that's very nice because even Naga is better cruiser she can utilize the large railgun is very nice okay for the next bonus was large railgun operation bonus per level so we can get plus 25 percent large railgun damage if we get last railgun operation level 5 and plus 25 percent large railgun optimal range so it is nice addition to our skills and our additional damage and optimal range and for the next bonus was advanced better crucial command we can get plus 25 percent flight velocity which is very good and minus 20% signature radius so even this is better cruiser and it's minus 20% for signature radius is very good so if you look at our navigation after bonus is 257.38 ms it is very fast for battle cruiser okay now let's go to the fitting explanation and because this naga can utilize seven large railgun not like before naga one just six so this naga hold more impact for battle cruisers so as you can see this naga to use corsi type large railgun and DBS about 181 and you can see the activation time was 5.45 second and look at that the optimal range for the Israel gun is 75.12 km and accuracy fall off about 35.39 km so we can have maximum range about 120 km with this good okay for the next was target painter of course it's to adjust your enemy signature so we can easily hit the enemy with large rifle trail guns okay for the next slow slots custom c type medium micro web drive large booster and three eagle tracking computer this is to upgrade our optimal range and tracking speed and accuracy fall off and the last was Corellum C type magnetic field stabilizer this is for our upgrade damage and activation time adjustment <coughs> okay next for the combat tricks 
Railgun Collision Accelerator 3 and 2 Railgun Burst Accelerator 3 Activation Time Adjustment by minus 12.5% and for the navigation tricks Semiconductor Memory Cell 3 Capacitor Control Circuit and Semiconductor Memory Cell 3 okay now if you look at our capacitor our maximum capacitor capacity was 5458 gigajoules and recharge time about 465 seconds and our recharge rate is minus 202 percent um, it is because it is um, counted by every large rail gun shoot target painter micro warp drive and of course the large shield booster which make our capacitor doesn't last very long okay and that's it that's for the Nike 2 fitting explanation and let's go to the combat demonstration versus that's 10 this is specifying worker rebellion and that's 10 and let's warp at 100 kilometers and look at that beautiful Warp drive planet. Oh, 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 oh. Surely the Ify Coast have very very nice scenery for space and planet. Yes. Okay. Look at that. I think we are safe from here. And let's kill that. Boom. Oh, nice. Boom. So, this Naga is made for sniper ships. And if you want to upgrade or reskill your battle cruiser skill to battle ships, you will go to Rock. Okay, so from this is not our optimal range we are hitting, it is at our accuracy fall off, but it's still very nice damage we have. And after magnetic field activation, we have offense about 1656.97, which is very good and our activation time about 4.42 seconds which is very very good for large rifle trail gun okay and if you want extra optimal range you can activate one of these tracking jumps here and it will go up to 106 kilometers So I think versus battleships, one target painter is enough. Uh, wow. So our hits with seven large railgun was about 4,100, 4,200, oh, 3,900, okay. So if you don't know um, why railguns is good, but it's not that good. I mean, 
it's like a jack of all trades it have damage but it's not too high because the damage type of rally guns is kinetic and thermal but the thermal as you can see in here the thermal point was little low than the kinetic and if we look at the kinetic damage is 600 and let's see um, our defense standard is like this for shield kinetic defense is 40 percent and for armor kinetic defense is 25 percent and for hulls is all the same 33 percent so <clears throat> it means our all of our damage is resisted by the armor shield and hull but the amount resisted is not so high so that's why the railgun damage is not so high but not so low it's so so at all section but it's very very nice I love the rail guns. Oh. So if you want to hit with large gun easily, um, you must be at about 100 kilometers. So your tracking speed is not very fair. Um, I mean, your tracking speed is not calculated to your hit chance. like the sentry drones we have before um, the, the tracking speed of sentry drones is just 0.02 but it still can hit from 100 kilometers that's why the strategy for every sniper is we can hit from 100 kilometers minimum And of course, it's for the safe of our ship because not all of the enemy ships can reach or their weapon can reach our ships from that range. Boom, nice. So you can see with three target painters, we are easily hit the enemy frigates and destroyer. It is good. And you can look at our capacitor. It's already gone to below 70%. Um, that's one of the weakness of the battle cruisers. They don't have large. They don't have large capacitor capacity. And we can wait. Maybe there is faction battle cruiser or no. I don't know. Maybe in the future they will have.
Wow, it's nice. So of course for regular encounters, this mega will be easily finish it. Yes, this is just regular encounter and but this is the tight stand. And they have better cruiser, uh, I mean better ships that stand there. And we are easily killed them. And it's nice. Wow, Benetrade's damage is about 4,700, okay. Whoa, five thousand and one hundred. So the version 2 of its better cruiser, I mean the Naga, the Erika, and the Tornado, or the Talos 2 is all the same. They can use 7 weapons and 6 low slots. Let's take a look. Ships, better cruisers. Ah, here we go. This is the Naga 2, and this is the Tornado 2. As you can see, you it is same setup for weapons and low slots. Look at the Oracle, same too, and the Talos too is same too. Yeah. Oh, we already finished this. Oh, that's nice. It's not so fast. Ah, and not, it's not take too long to finish the test ten encounters regular encounters and it's nice so this is it if you want to use the Naga 2 this is the performance this is the best performance for the Naga 2 I think or maybe if they implement the type B or the type A on this year Maybe this Naga can perform more better, but we will see and we will wait the release date for Type P or Type A modules. Okay, and thank you for watching and if you like this video, please like and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe to support us and if you want anything to be reviewed maybe ships or maybe fitting modules or maybe anything at all you want to be reviewed by me you can comment on the comment section okay and once again thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Goodbye.